let's talk about a super underrated city here in Orange County, California. It gets overlooked. And don't forget to watch this whole video so that you can avoid the pain of moving to the wrong place. So let's get started. So if you haven't watched us before, here we are, we're in Orange County, California. So to kind of give you a sense of where we are in proximity to things, Whereas, like, obviously, we're kind of more like a suburb of LA. You know, mm -hmm. like, we're definitely within the LA media market metro mm -hmm. area, basically, even though we all grows up because we're actually pretty, you know, solid on our own footing these days. Yeah. But, you know, hey, we got we got knowledge the elephant room, and that being LA. So we are, like, you know, right next to LA. We're just kind of, we're north of San Diego. Okay, so San Diego's down south. So, uh, so what's nice about Orange County, as I mean, I'm, I'm a little biased as far as that can, compared to San Diego, is that we are not on an island. Like, so mm -hmm. we are very, you know, we're very tapped into the LA media market. Uh, San Diego is just, again, it's a good sized area. It's about 3 million people like Orange County, but yeah. it is on its own. Yeah, and the main reason we say that is because of this right here. This is just open space. It's the marine base that's there, as well as the decommissioned nuclear power plant. So that's why San Diego is kind of like on an island by yes, itself. Yes, exactly. Okay, so as we go into Orange County, so we're, we're going to, the wonderful city of San Juan Capistrano, which again, even you know, even someone that's you know well versed in the area, it flies under the radar for us too, right? Yeah, so like for sure. you know, and, and actually I did some showings and I was going, man, you know what? San Juan Capistrano is pretty awesome. So obviously we kind of thought, you know, let's go ahead and give it its due by putting you know, like putting some little emphasis, emphasis on it. Yeah, so he actually showed this really, really awesome house and it actually had views of the ocean, right? Yes. So what so it's kind of like a little bit of a hack, right? Like so that house, if that house were in Dana Point or uh, San Clemente. Or San Clemente, like how much would that house be? First, let's show like <laughs> where is Dana Point. So show where it is compared to Dana Point and San Clemente, and then like that house. Okay, so Dana Point's literally like right here. Yeah, and, then, and, then and then San, San Clemente is like right literally there. right there. So. so that house, which was this beautiful, you know, mansion that had. Which music. is like right here. Yeah, and then that house, if it were outside of the boundaries of uh, San Juan Capistrano in Dana Point, which is a beach city, or San Clemente, which is a beach city, like how much do you think it would have been? Like double? Uh, definitely probably uh, 25 to 50% more. Okay. So before we continue, let's introduce ourselves. I'm Sean Dazad. And I'm Courtney Dazad, and we are licensed real estate agents here in the state of California. And if you're watching this channel, you might be thinking, wow, Sean, I love Orange County. I love the weather. I love the blue skies. I can't wait to move out here now. The problem is I'm not local. I'm out of state. I may be even out of the country. So I don't know what to do. And I totally get that. That's why you reach out to us because we have a team that is available to take your phone calls and really show you whenever you need to when you're in the area of property and as well as we do virtual tours. So what we do is we get on the phone, we really find out like what specifically you're looking for, get really granular about it. And then from there, really pinpoint those homes. And we can also do virtual tours where we kind of give you a sense of what that area is like, what that property is like. So that way when you come out here, time is spent way more efficiently. So what you want to do is you want to give us a call or shoot us a text. Yes, that number is a cell phone. So you can call us or text us or you can use WhatsApp if you're outside the area. Yeah, and the thing is, realize, under, like, please understand this too, is that San Juan Capistrano has some really nice homes as well. So it's not just like this afterthought of a city. It's just that it itself is not a coastal town, even though if you look at it, it is right there like it yours like you are closer to the coast than a lot of like coastal city like a like a house in typical coastal city like you're yeah. very very close now of course as you get further out here you know it is you know it, you know it's a bit more inland and i say inland it's really not that far inland but like yeah. you know, i'm just saying like you know these ones but when you're like right here this is super super close to the coast here yeah, and another thing that San Juan Capistrano has as well, so it has a really uh, cool little historic district mm -hmm. that is really cool. We don't go down there as much as we should, but it's actually like it's got lots of cute little shops, cute little restaurants. You, it's very, it's a very cute little part of Orange County. Even if you know you're not living in San Juan Capistrano, it's a fun place to go. Yeah, they take Old Town San so, Juan. Yeah, so that's like a super cool, super fun little area. Of not just San Juan Capistrano, but um, uh, of all of Orange County. Yeah, I've honestly all of Southern California because mm -hmm. it's again, it's really cute. It's just got a totally different vibe to it. Yeah. It actually has a train station that's right there. Mm -hmm. And then another thing, you know, before we were doing this video, Sean was telling me about San Juan Capistrano that he really notices about it is that for a city that is as small as it is, what do you think the population is like forty thousand? There's actually much variety in the types of homes you can get. You can get everything from like new construction. Thirty-five thousand two fifty-three. Oh, okay. So you can get everything from new construction, which is rare in Orange County. You can actually get new construction here, or or you can have you know these 
horse farms, you have like condominiums, like you have so much variety. Yeah, so you get stuff that's definitely on the older side. In fact, it's like like home to an older an older building in Mission San Juan Capistrano. Yeah. But then of course you also have like pretty much brand new construction and very like in decent amount of newer construction. And some of these homes are, again are like, you know, have beautiful ocean views and nice size and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And then of course yeah you have like some homes with acreage literally. Yeah. You have condos. Mm -hmm. It has a ton of variety. Again, for a city of about 35,000 people, there's just a ton of variety here. And then so you can get the coastal vibe, you get a little bit more inland vibe. So the coastal vibe obviously is right here. The inland vibe obviously is a little bit, you know, further out this way. Again, you're not that far out. I just want to yeah. kind of really <laughs> emphasize that you're not that far out, but it's a fascinating city. That's why we want to obviously write about this, you know, like talk about this because it's just, again, it's different for such a small city. Yeah, and what's nice about the inland areas, too, is that it's got, you know, nice rolling hills. It's, you know, it's just, it's it feels different than other parts of Orange County. Especially, you know, we may have heard of Irvine. This is a city, a big reason why people come to our channel is for Irvine. San Juan Capistrano is very hilly, so it has, like, a totally different feel. Yeah, and actually, and, and then they have golf courses. And, all, and also, like, you know, one of my favorite neighborhoods is Nellie Gale. Mm -hmm. oh. So Nellie Gale is in Laguna Hills. Which is, yeah, just down the freeway here. It's like right about here, I guess. Yeah, at Cabot Road. So it's like in this vicinity here, right? So yeah, Nelly it, has Gale's, a, it has a Nellie Gale feel, like parts of San Juan Capistrano. Exactly. Too. Yeah, so it has, like, so, like, that's one of my favorite neighborhoods because, again, you're really close to, like, the 5 freeway. You're not mm -hmm. that far off. But at the same time, you can have acreage. You can have horses if that's what you're interested in. It's just kind of different to have to be that close to civilization. Like, you're right that you're in you're in it, but you actually have land. And San Juan Capistrano, actually, some of these neighborhoods actually have that, too, which is kind of amazing. And then we probably should also mention is San Juan Capistrano, it is pretty far south within Orange County. So Irvine, you want to click on Irvine, that's like the geographic center of Orange County. So it's definitely a decent ways off of that. Yeah, so, so if you're in San Juan Capistrano, you're taking the five freeway, let's say if you're if you're trying to go to like, let's say one of the major employment hubs, yeah. that being the uh, Irvine Spectrum, you know, again, it's about 20-ish minutes, yeah. depending on where depending you are, on of traffic, course. Yeah, and too. also depending on where you are in San Juan Capistrano too. And traffic. Yeah. And getting onto the Ortega Highway, so that's number 74, that's 74, that's mm -hmm. the Ortega Highway. That thing can back up. That thing, <laughs> I hate, I hate that thing. I really hate it. <laughs> yeah, there's not like it, like a, like a lot of other areas it, like north of it. There's not a ton of arteries here. Yeah. Like you know, like in comparison, especially yeah. in this northern part. Yeah. So again, it's just one of those things to be aware of that that's just what it is. It's awesome. If you notice, like, look at how close to the coast this is. This is super super mm -hmm. close. Like I, I, you know, for the longest time actually, I thought it was a coastal city. Yeah. And I was like, oh wait, it's not. You always used to say that. And yeah. Like, what are you talking? Yeah, you know, because about? because yeah. Dana Point has Capistrano Beach, so that <clears throat> yeah. kind of threw me off. But like, which is right right here, right? So yeah. Uh, so that's what kind of threw me off. But yeah, so San Juan Capistrano is like you're getting beach living, but again, you're not paying those prices, or you're getting just more home, like more bang for your buck. Yeah. Although I will say that if you're someone that's commuting to LA. Uh, for me personally, yeah, that would be a little bit too far. There are a lot of people that call Sean and they're looking for, you know, something that's, you know, they can commute into LA from. That is far. For me personally, I would I would not want to do that. Yeah, if you're looking, like, yeah, if you if you have to make, go to LA regularly, I would. There's definitely other options. I would definitely. Uh, like throw at you as far as yeah. that goes uh, mm -hmm. or suggest but basically if you're like you know maybe you're in a hybrid work situation you're retired altogether or you have some rem remote options San Juan Capistrano is pretty amazing yeah and I know this is the first question on everyone's <laughs> mind is there a Costco in San Juan Capistrano and yes I'm happy to report <laughs> there is so yeah. you know again major check off the box there for me yeah so now that we're done with the map we're going to go into now the more specifics of the city. Yeah, so, so we like to use niche.com as a resource, although I, I'm surprised that it gives San Juan Capistrano a B plus. I, I feel like San Juan Capistrano, they don't know how good it actually is. It is underrated. That B plus shows it. So, but if you want to like see some of the things that they kind of highlight. Well, they give a C minus for housing, right? Because that's again, that's, that's the, and which is kind of lame actually, because the thing about San Juan Capistrano is that I actually think that you get good value yeah. here. It's just that, yeah, you have some you have some mansions. I mean, you have some legit, really nice properties, but you do also have more affordable homes here. So I think that's a bit unfair to judge San Juan Capistrano by that metric. That's true. And then San Juan Capistrano rankings, they say suburbs with the best public schools, places with best public schools in California, best suburbs to raise a family in California. So that's kind of what niche.com says about it. And then if you are interested in schools, we always like to say, you know, obviously, 
Irvine gets all the hype, the Irvine Unified School District. But and for good reason. For good reason. It, it has great schools. Like, nobody is going to dispute that. dispute that. But we always like to point to this fairly recent article, like OC schools rank among nation's best in the latest news and news world report. And what's interesting about this list is that they're from literally all over the county, like literally all over the county, mm. including San Juan Capistrano. San Juan Hills High School right here in the Capistrano Unified School District. So here's San Juan Hills High School on niche.com, gets an A+. And San Juan Capistrano is in the Capistrano Unified School District. Here is the school district, gets an A+, according to niche.com. And what's nice, too, is that you can go to the map here, and you can see, you know, all the different schools, how they rank according to niche.com. And what's nice about Capistrano as well is that there's lots of cool, you know, programs with, within here, you know, charter schools, that sort of thing, language immersion programs, there's Spanish immersion programs, there's um, Mandarin immersion programs. So, yeah, you, you have a lot of options when you're in Capo. And also understand, like, yeah, people might get confused because this is Samuel Capistrano, the city. So Capistrano Unified School District is actually encompassing several cities. It's yeah, not it's just tons, Samuel Capistrano. Tons. So yeah. Yeah, so you have San Clemente, Dana Point, San Juan Capistrano, Laguna Niguel, Aliso, Aliso Viejo. Mission, parts of Mission Viejo. Par, parts of Mission Viejo, parts, parts of Rancho Santa Margarita. Yeah. Uh, Rancho Mission Viejo, Cota de Casa, Ladera Ranch. Ranch. Yeah, so like... It's got, there's a lot of cities right here, which is actually pretty awesome because you have a variety of options. I mean, obviously the schools, you know, like specifically to your neighborhood, you know, you, you know, we always recommend you, talk, you know, like do your research and also contact the school administrators to make sure you're comfortable yeah. with that school. But also there is potential for transferring to a different school within the, the district. Yeah, for sure. And then we do want to just point you to our channel. We do have many, many cities. Shameless that, plug. Shameless plug. Many cities that we have toured, including San Juan Capistrano. We did this one a while ago. You can tell because we were still using the GoPro. So this is oh, kind yeah. of very meta, right? Because yeah. they're on our channel and we're pointing them to our channel. Yeah, it is. So yeah, so if you want to get an actual tour of San Juan Capistrano, and here you can see the old district. You can see, uh, you know, parts of it that we did. So yeah. And again, remember, this is not a very like this is not a big city. Yeah, but again, small. for what it, ha you know, that's why our tour is like yes. ten minutes long because it's not a very big city. But the yeah. thing is that there's a ton of variety within it. Yeah. So here's here we're in the historic district right here, and you can see the train going by. And then now let's talk about cost of living, which is obviously the elephant in the room any any pr pretty much anywhere in coastal <laughs> California. So here we have it's 164, where USA is an average of 100. That's what's considered the average. And then San Juan Capistrano is significantly above average, as you might expect. 104 for grocery. Health is a little less, which randomly I actually agree we'll with. We'll avoid housing right now. Avoid housing right now. Utilities, 116. Um, transportation, 107. Miscellaneous, 155. And then do you want to talk about utilities? Because this, the probably the reason why it's so low is because... You're you close to the ocean. You're closer to the ocean depending on where you are. And so you're not going to be using your air conditioner all that much because electricity in California is very expensive. And then do you want to talk about if you are getting like an older home? So there's a few do different options. So there's a few things to talk about. So one is that, yeah, if you are getting an existing home that's like, you know, again, 20 years, whatever, years old, basically... You know, even though you do a home inspection, you always recommend you doing that to check out the the whole the whole property, including the HVAC system. If it's an original system, it may still be functioning and working, but it's probably not working efficiently, right? So you just have to be aware that you may need to budget in a replacement in the not too distant future for two reasons. One, it might just go out just because of how old it is, but two, also because it's inefficient, it's going to cost you more money for electricity on those. You know, again, fortunately about San Juan Capistrano, it is again like you said, closer to the coast, so we're not. It's yeah. not, you know, particular, you know, you're going to have your, you know, few weeks of the summer that are like hot, but mm -hmm. for the most part, it's going to be pretty mild. And then on top of that, you know, the way to mitigate this, of course, is to put solar on your property because there's a lot of incentives for solar. And obviously that makes your energy costs go down tremendously. Yeah. And then obviously the elephant in the room is the housing costs. So more than three times the national average. And then we can go to let's so let's just go to the median price for Orange County. So this is the median for all home types, 1.06 million for all of Orange County, and then San Juan Capistrano is higher. Obviously, there's only 28 homes, and like Sean was saying, like there are some very, very large, beautiful mansions in San Juan Capistrano. Yeah, so th this one, to be honest with you, is... 
I like let me let you look at the difference. Like in April, it did not go up. The general value did not go up four hundred thousand dollars over yeah. the course of a few months. Mm-hmm. It's just the problem is that we're dealing with a situation we're doing with a very low inventory environment. So a where, very small sample size. Yes, yeah, so very small small sample size. And if it on any given month it could skew more to the more expensive homes mm-hmm. as to more of the condos. So on a, on a different month. Like yeah. probably in April, you had a more ski towards or maybe like more condos and townhomes yeah. that were selling. So this 1.445 feels very it <laughs> yeah, does, 41% it year over high. year. That's it ridiculous. High, yeah, yeah, that's not that's not what it was like. Yeah, it didn't it didn't go up 40%. Oh, I have this like in one year. <laughs> I have a one month. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, that's the problem with because the inventory is so low. Like yeah, you 28 know, homes. Is, 28 homes. It's it's really hard to get a smooth, you know, um, <clears throat> line here because of how many how few homes that you're dealing with. Yeah, if you're looking at the fluctuation, it's, I think it's more hovering towards 1.2. Mm-hmm. Like, you're looking at the fluctuation there. Yeah. So it's a little bit more than Orange County. But again, that's yeah. taking into account that these homes are tend to be on the bigger side. Mm-hmm. This is kind of almost like the Yorba Linda of South County. South County. So yeah. just you have to take that into account that the actual the value actually is really good here. It's just that you know, that's why, you know, when we have that conversation, when you look at this stuff, you have to take it into context. That's the thing. Yeah. And like they, a lot of stuff can be taken out of context. Like there is no place in Orange County has gone up 41% year over year. Yeah. It's just you're dealing with very small sample size. And depending on how it skews at any given time, it could wildly change the results. Although you'll never see the news writing about this. But if it goes down like that, they will write about that. So. Uh, no, oh, yeah. So, yeah, like, yeah, so like, yeah for like, like this, for, for, from February to, to March, yeah. right, it went yeah. up like... 60%. Yeah. And it dropped 60%. Yeah. So, that. so so the news will be like, we're not going to talk about this, but we will talk about that. Oh, for sure. So, yeah. So that's, you just got to, you know, you got to take that in Again, stride. That's why you, we yeah. have this conversation. We, we go through this stuff. Yeah. And then let's talk about crime and safety. And then we always have to give the caveat, you know, whatever we think is safe might not necessarily be what you think is safe. It's totally subjective. So we just like to point you to the statistics. You can see that based on the numbers here on niche.com, the numbers are lower in San Juan Capistrano than, than the national average. Yeah, and the, the thing is, I want to also emphasize here is that people sometimes ask me, like, you know, Jean, you know, like, is this area safe? I have to be very careful because it is extremely subjective. Whatever yeah. I might feel is safe may not be what you feel is safe because I remember, like, visiting you when mm-hmm. you were going to Columbia in Manhattan. And again, Manhattan's a nice area, but it was just different, right? I'm like coming from the orange bubble. So the thing is, is that what I consider safe is very different. That's why we recommend, for instance, when you're interested in an area, one, obviously, look, general, obviously, of course, look at the statistics to see what that means for you. But second is drive to that area different times of the day in the evening to make sure that it feels comfortable for you. Because honestly, I can't tell you that this is safe or is not because I don't have your shared experience growing up. Having said that, if you look at these statistics, from my untrained eye, I think yeah. a C plus is kind of an unreasonable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because if you look at these things, these are like half. Like yeah. okay, so if a C, like by their by their metric, right, a C should be average, right? So yeah, if well, I'm it's, looking at a C, it's like it's above average. Yeah. No, no. So yeah. So, but I'm just saying, like, if C is no, but if C is average. Yeah, yeah. That means that these national numbers would be the like average. Like an F, an F. Yeah. yeah national so, <laughs> numbers look like an F. Yeah. Yeah. If you're giving this a C plus, yes. Yeah. I mean, so if I'm looking at these things and I'm seeing all these metrics between a quarter to a half of the national statistics, that sounds higher than a plus like grade above like average. So again, that's know. my little soapbox there. And remember, we are licensed realtors here in the state of California. So as much as we love making these videos, what we love more is to help you with your real estate needs. Whether you're looking to buy or sell a home, what you want to do is you want to give us a call or shoot us a text. Yes, that number is a cell phone, so you can call us or text us, or you can use WhatsApp if you're outside the country. 